Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, in today's video, I will be doing an overview of a previous build I did, uh, and that is a GMRS repeater. Uh, so I did actually put this together not that long ago. I have not given it a full field test uh, yet. That'll happen probably in the next month or so. When I take it on a camping trip, I'll be able to test it out. Uh, testing so far uh, says it's really good. Um, the, the issue that I had and, and the reason why I built this was one of the places that we go camping, I give my kids uh, GMRS radios, I have a GMRS license, I give my kids the GMRS radios, and they're able to go off a little bit and explore on their own. Problem is, one of the spots they go to is just out of reach of the radios, so I'm hoping if I could get a repeater up into a tree, that should be able to make the difference. So what I've done, which you'll see here in a minute, is um, this is not a legitimate repeater, right? Is if you're watching this video, you probably know uh, legitimate repeaters can be expensive. Uh, and that is not what we're about here. We're about everyday solutions that we can use and actually do and purchase and build. Uh, so a Baofeng repeater, right? This is the ham radio variant of it. I am using the GMRS versions of it, but essentially the same thing. This is a very inexpensive radio. Uh, and you can take two of these and hook them together in a repeater. And there's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, I've seen people do it a couple different ways. Um, you'll see the way that I settled on right now. So if we kind of just start here um, and just kind of get an overview, we can see the box and kind of just get an overview of what's going on here. You can see it is in a box. You know, I like, I like my boxes. Um, and there's not too much going on here. Um, what I'm gonna explain, so real quick, what you can see is just these are the mount points. So if I wanna hang it from a tree, I can attach it to these points here. Um, the main thing that you'll probably notice is that there are two uh, antenna mounts. We have um, more of a car mount style, an uh, NMO, uh, I believe it is, if I remember correctly, um, style mount uh, to fit an antenna up top. And then I also have a standard SO239 here on the bottom. All right, and I can pop the cap off here, and you can see standard SO239. Now, you might be thinking, two antenna locations, two antennas, right? Well, that's what I was thinking at first, too. Uh, I already knew I was going to run into issues of descents. What I was hoping was that, um, you know, with a nice mobile antenna coming off the top, and then a like a J-pole or some type of antenna like that hanging off the bottom a little distance down, that that might be far enough apart. It's not far enough apart. <laughs> I did some testing on it. It did not work well. Um, I was only able to, it was only able to work uh, close range. So it, it, it effectively did not work. So um, I am only using one antenna at a time, but I do have those options. So the one thing before I open it up to say is everything that this needs is here in the box, except for one thing. There are three pieces to two different antennas, right? I have two different antennas, three different pieces. So one of those pieces is right here, you can see, Top view I have, this is just a, a Midland GMRS tuned antenna. It's great, it works great. This is for the top. Now, if I open it up, what we'll see, the two other components. As far as the other component to that antenna, you'll see these pieces here. Um, this is part of the ground plane kit uh, for that antenna. Since there's no metal or anything here, it's not going on a car, it's going on this plastic box. Um, I did want to add this uh, ground plane kit on here. And then the other is just the other antenna, um, which is a GMRS tuned uh, J pole antenna. Um, this way I can pick which, which way I want to go. Um, I, I do want to do some testing uh, with both antennas to see which performs better. Um, if they're similar, to be honest, I can just bring the J pole and simplify what I bring, everything fits in the box. So I have to do some testing to see. So in a future update, you will uh, we'll let you know. Okay, so now if we switch uh, to the side view here, um, you can get a better look at what's inside the box. All right, and I'll go over and talk about that right here. Um, so the basic things, as I already mentioned, is two uh, GMRS radios. You can see here, these are the, um, the UV5RGs, uh, I believe they are. Um, but these are the GMRS tuned ones. There, there's two of them here. You can see here's the other one over here, right? I'm not lying, there are two. Um, and then there are a couple different ways you can connect these together. I did actually make my own crossover cable, audio crossover cable, which you can make. Um, I was initially having issues with it not working well and I wasn't sure why. So um, I didn't know if it was the quality of my cable. So I did also buy the audio box for this. Um, all the links, 
for everything is down below in the description. So please take a look. Um, this was the audio box that I used. This probably looks familiar. Uh, I got this off Amazon. It works great. Um, I, I'm just using this and I haven't had a need to use my own cable. The big thing to this and the big magic that makes this work right here in the middle that you've probably been looking at and wondering, this is the duplexer, right? And that's how I'm doing one antenna. Now that at first may seem like, uh, yes, you want to use a duplexer. Um, duplexers are expensive, right? When you're getting a, you know, you're building an actual repeater and you're buying a duplexer, it can get very expensive. I was able to find this one, I think, on uh, AliExpress. It's a, like a 30 watt uh, duplexer. Um, I had it tuned to my frequency. Here we can take a look at it here. Unhook it. You can see here's the unit right here. Uh, it works so far in testing, it works great. Shoot. I just flipped this around my hand, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So the question is, which one is which? Which one is which? Well, we can tell by looking at the frequencies. And what I can see is it was like this. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's stick this guy back in here. All right, we can hook it back up. Everything fits in here really nice. Perfect size case for this. I do have a few clips in here in case I need them. But that's really it, right? There's there's really not that much uh, to this. Uh, it's really just getting off, especially once you have the duplexer. That That's kind of the magic. But it's pretty cool. You can see with how this is connected here. If we kind of just go back to this top view real quick here, you can see if I do for some reason, like right now, I have it set to use the J pole, but if I want to use the NMO mount, I can just unhook this, move it over there plug it in there. I have it on these quick PNC little releases uh, so I can easily uh, I can easily switch around and do that. And like I said, that's pretty much the build. Not much to it. It all fits right here in the box. It's all sealed up pretty well, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but testing definitely uh, will uh, have to commence soon. Once all that testing is completed, I'll definitely make sure to do a quick update so you guys know that this uh, the configuration of this uh, does work well in practice. Like I said, in um, in testing, it's worked well, just trying around, uh, you know, around my, putting it up in the tree here and kind of go around the block, driving around a little bit and testing worked fine. Um, but we know that the proof is in, you know, the actual field test when I actually need it to work and actually need it to do what it does. So if you enjoyed this build, if you want to see some more things like this, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment on the video. If you have any ideas on how I can improve this build, please let me know. I'm always happy to revisit a build either taking the same one uh, and modifying it better, or even just starting over with a whole new build uh, if there's enough that we can improve. So feel free to let me know below in the comments. Like I said, all the parts and everything is down below. Um, so if you wanna see uh, anything that using this build, feel free to take a look. Thank you for joining me on the channel today. I'm your host, Benjamin Blood. Let's build something amazing together.